let it steal up, but it, it pushed down on the mold thing. <laughs> Actually, that's Mother Nature's rototiller. It really doesn't hurt anything. It keeps the ground good, and it? Everything didn't freeze. There's a double handful of hot peppers. Hot peppers, eh? Yeah, those are cayennes. They really were giant this year. Usually they grow smaller. It must have been a different variety because uh, a pepper is one of the hardest things to grow a plant from seed. And I try, but I hardly ever get one. I usually buy my plants for that. But so, the freeze got almost everything. <laughs> we have tomatoes, green peppers, turnips cucumbers, squash, uh, we have kale, uh, mustard greens, cucumbers, lettuce, and I planted some radishes and they didn't do very good, but they're not one of our favorite things anyhow. And you see it's pretty, the weeds need some work, but, and we put carpets down around the edge to keep the grass out, because when, if it's rainy, the weeds grow better than the garden. Give it a good toss. At the compost pile or no? Anywhere. Just toss. Don't just hit me. <laughs> nope. No good. I got, I got a green one here. No, okay. okay. I can't take any more. Okay. <laughs> I'm full. Whatever you do with, with, with uh, bad at, or bad uh, tomatoes, don't hit your gardener. Yeah. What we have here is a three kilowatt solar array, which produces enough power to pump water, run refrigeration, and computers when we don't have utility power. And we need to clean the grapes off of it again. The wild grapes. I remember buying a computer back in 1999. He wanted to sell me a UPS system. I said, buddy, I got the largest UPS system in the state. 